Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading so that we can take a look at our week ahead and find out how to have fun with it. The first card is Major Zero, Simplicity. And the second card is Seven of Bridges, Commit. The third card is Five of Water, Disguise. The fourth card is Ten of Water, Family. And the fifth card is Achiever of Fire, Truth. So what I'm seeing is that we begin the week just with the simple, straightforward, whatever it is, don't read layers into anything. It's just what it is and accept it as that. We move from simplicity to making a commitment to something. My feeling is that looking at things through this lens of simplicity helps us see what commitment we want to make and where we want to make it. So toward the beginning of the week, be figuring out where in your life you'd like to commit more deeply to following through on something and do that. Midweek, we're working with disguise. And what this says is that you'll be presenting the face you want to show to somebody. It's just fine to do that. Just remember, it's a disguise. It's not who you really are. From disguise, we move into family. Now, because these two are close together, my feeling is that there's going to be something that you're not wanting to share with your family toward the end of the week. So you put on a happy face or you put on a sad face or you just stay quiet about something in that circle of your most intimate relationships for a day or two. From there, we move into truth. So this tells me that along about late Friday or Saturday, whatever this is that you took a disguise about in the middle of the week, it's time for the truth to be spoken about it. So step into that and do that. Put your truth into the conversation so that clarity can return to the situation. So in summary, we begin the work of the week with just pure simplicity. And we make a commitment based on whatever that simplicity reveals to us. And then we hold our privacy a little bit in the middle of the week by not letting our body language, our words, our facial expressions reveal something that we're not quite ready to reveal within the context of our most intimate circle of people. We spend time with family. And by the end of the week, we're ready to share whatever it is that we've been holding to ourselves for a few days. This is a week that has more emotion than anything else in it. So let your heart be present and let yourself enjoy the process of the week. Have a wonderful week.